Good evening, Professor. Today, we are diving into an insightful study titled Measuring Retail Supply Chain Performance Theoretical Model Using Key Performance Indicators. My name is Mohammed Samran, and today we explore the complexities of retail supply chains and the crucial role of performance measurement. In the dynamic sector of retail, the efficiency of supply chains can significantly determine a business success. The study by Neeraj Anand and Neha Grover, published in Benchmarking and International Journal in 2015, dwells deep into identifying the most impactful key performance indicators, or the KPIs, that help gauge the performance of retail supply chains. Why is it important in an era where markets are rapidly developing, businesses must keep up by optimizing their supply chain processes. Effective KPIs provide a snapshot of current performances and highlight potential areas of improvement. So what is the purpose and significance of it? Why is this significant in the domains of supply chain? The main purpose of this paper is to address a common challenge many businesses face. The selection of appropriate KPIs. The retail environment is fraught with fluctuating demands, diverse product ranges, and a constant push for cost efficiency and customer satisfaction. So, uh, and the authors may aim to bridge the gap by proposing a theoretical framework that not only identifies but also categorizes KPIs tailored significantly for retail supply chains. This framework supports businesses in enhancing financial performance through strategic operational adjustments. By understanding and utilizing these KPIs, retail managers, decision makers can foster a more resilient and responsive supply chain, positioning their businesses better in comparative markets. So, what are the key performance indicators? We have talked about it that this uh, paper focuses on improving the supply chain in retail indust industry uh, through key performance indicator monitoring. So let's understand by let's start by understanding what KPIs are in the context of supply chain management. Uh, KPIs are like quantifiable measures that gauge a company's performance against a set of targets, objectives, or industry peers. So. Uh, in supply chain, KPIs assess specific aspects such as delivery times, inventory levels, and operational costs. So maybe think of uh, a food delivery service. Uh, in terms of food delivery service, uh, from customer satisfaction point of view, it is very important KPI that how many, what percentage of uh, orders were actually delayed uh, uh, than the anticipated time. And that uh, this single, in, uh, uh, KPI can actually identify a lot of problems in the food delivery chain. So uh, that's like, uh, uh, that's how much important supply they are in supply chain management. Or for example, uh, uh, in, a, in a ride hailing service, it is very critical to know uh, that what are the uh, utilization rate of the drivers, because if drivers are utilized more than certain Time, then it will bring the operational inefficiency and customers won't be satisfied as well. So uh, that's how much uh, what KPIs are and, and that's an overview. And in terms of, uh, but uh, KPIs are not that simple. It's about the, the need to mean something. That's why selecting the right KPI is, is critical, but still challenging. The effectiveness of KPIs lies in how well it aligns with the strategic goals of the organization. That is very important. If, if a ride dealing service is not looking to monitor uh, uh, 
utilization of the drivers because it is very low then it will not be a very meaningful kpi for that matter so in the retail sector this means choosing kpis that enhance customer satisfaction uh, reduce operational costs and improve efficiency a mismatch can lead to misdirected efforts and resources distracting from the overall business objectives so so maybe uh, if you are not showing the right numbers or the right kpis to to the top management it might be a possibility that they missing they might be basing uh, their decisions on readings that are actually not meaningful so uh, and and in this case the methodology adopted by anand and grover in the research involved a comprehensive review of existing literature on supply chain performance and and the use of kpis they analyzed numerous studies to build a theoretical model that categorizes kpis into coherent groups that reflect different operational areas of a retail supply chain so let's uh move into the heart of the paper uh methodology behind the study objectives and focus has been explained obviously uh now let's uh move into the heart of the of the paper the theoretical frame, framework of the paper how the theoretical framework for measuring retail supply chain performance is developed that's the important part uh, the authors begin by uh, establishing the necessity of a robust framework that not only identifies but also categorizes key performance indicators of or kpis into uh, meaningful groups that reflect different aspects of the supply chain operations so uh, for example uh anand and grover identify four primary dimensions of supply chain performance crit, uh, performance critical to retail sector particularly transport optimization obviously information technology optimization inventory optimization and resource optimization so each of these uh, are integral to managing the flow of the goods and information ensuring that products are delivered efficiently and cost effectively so for example transport optimization uh focuses on the efficiency and effectiveness of the product delivery actually so so how quickly uh, a, a, a courier takes the food from a restaurant to an eater is, is important so information technology optimization enhances accuracy and speed of the information flow across the supply chain so for example uh, how 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 quickly that uh, a user can place an order and a restaurant can be intimated is very important and that happens through the information technology and then uh, inventory optimization uh manages stock levels to meet demand without overstocking or shortages and this become really critical in the pharmaceutical industry for that matter and and then uh last but not the least resource uh, optimization uh utilize human and material resources uh to maximize productivity and, and actually reduce uh waste so man management becomes very important as well so theoretical framework considers that particular element as well uh and then uh then then the paper has uh as a study of linking performance to financial outcomes so most importantly uh the framework developed uh in this study proposes how each of these kpis impact the financial performance of a firm so the author suggests that a well optimized supply chain not only improves operational efficiency but also enhances profitability and shareholder values and this is done by correlating operational kpis with financial metrics like return on assets sales growth and profit margins so it's not just that uh, they are developing operational kpis they are also linking them with the financial matrices so so it it becomes meaningful for a retail business because obviously retail business uh, apart from everything else obviously customer satisfaction is important they are there to make money and and that is why linking these key kpis with financial metrics is really really important as well uh so that is a very good thing done by by the authors of this paper and then uh uh moving on to uh identified kpis that what kind of kpis they have selected in the paper so in the quest to improve supply chain efficiency the identification of a specific actionable key performance indicator is vital uh, the authors of our study have uh meticulously categorized these kpis into four groups now each representing a core of supply chain operations transport inventory information technology and resources so 
let's like uh, dive into uh, uh, some more uh, examples to see how KPIs operate within their categories. So uh, these are the four categories that we have identified already and, and uh, obviously the purpose of KPIs is to monitor, control and then ultimately optimize the performance. So uh, what are some of the identified KPIs uh, in the for transport is optimization KPIs such as delivery on time and shipping accuracy measures the effectiveness of the logistic operations. So, so that's one thing. And in the realm of inventory management, uh, KPIs like inventory turnover rate and stock out frequency are crucial for assessing how well a business manages its stocks to meet customer demand without overcapitalizing on inventory. And, and then, uh, and if you are, are talk about uh, uh, other industries, it's not just about tracking numbers. The true value of KPIs lies in their alignment with broader business goals. And that, have, as I understand, for example, reducing delivery times uh, can enhance customer satisfaction, which in turn may lead to increased loyalty and sales. And similarly, efficient inventory management can significantly cut costs and improve cash flows directly impacting the bottom line. And you think of this particular matter of inventory management, for example, uh, in the in the domain of uh, medicine industry. So if, if a pharmaceutical firm uh, overstock or, or, or a pharmacy overstocks a certain sort of medicine, which has a very uh, reason, uh, which has a, an expiry date, then they might be wasting a lot of tablets. And for in, in, in the similar matter, if, if a grocery store uh, stores fresh vegetables in a, in a form that is not sustainable for very long, then overstocking might be an issue for them because some of their stock will be going unsold and will be uh, returning loss for them. So uh, inventory management in that domain becomes very, very critical as well. And uh, so this paper has covered uh, all the important aspects of, of how things should operate. So they have talked about uh, examples of KPIs and uh, they have uh, developed KPIs through a certain mechanism and then they have developed those KPIs to, uh, to ultimate objectives that, uh, that the uh, company might be looking to meet that could be financial objectives or that could be uh, what the customer uh, or the customer satisfaction objectives for that matter. So, so they have developed through this and, and now moving on, uh, uh, it was not like that it was smooth sailing uh, for the authors of this paper. They obviously had uh, practical limitations and, and uh, uh, that is uh, that uh, couldn't help them achieve the maximum of it. So uh, the practical implications of this study are profound, like for retail supply chain management by applying identified KPIs, companies can actually better monitor and enhance their supply chain operations. Uh, leading to improved cost efficiency, uh, customer satisfaction, and operational flexibility, for example. Uh, for example, by focusing on transport optimization KPIs, uh, companies can reduce delivery times and, and improve uh, logistical research. And, and uh, similarly, uh, by uh, focusing on IT optimization, uh, the companies can uh, reduce their down downtime and, and maybe uh, uh, improve the proce processes uh, so that uh, it is easier for customer and convenient for customer and the customer is, is saved from the fraud as well. So every sort of optimization uh, uh, comes with, with a certain uh, uh, reward and, and that is very important. Uh, and then uh, that was like... Uh, and so moving on... Uh, uh, to the research limitations uh, involved in this in this uh, paper. Uh, so based on, uh, while the uh, theoretical model uh, and KPIs provided by the study are significant help forward, uh, but there are limitations obviously. The authors acknowledge that model is based primarily on literature reviews and theoretical assumptions which might not capture all nuances of real world operations. Uh, and and 
uh, this is not just important because uh, in the retail industry, it is very uh, the competition is very cutthroat and advances are made on on a daily basis. So uh, uh, new KPIs are being developed and and uh, new KPIs are being implemented. New processes are being implemented at a fast pace. So so just referring to uh, the academia part of it, where research is published. I believe it is not justified uh, to write a paper on, on the KPIs as such. Uh, so uh, that is one of the very uh, significant limitations of this research that this is a little far away from the practical world, from the industry knowledge, uh, how the industry is operating and how is it performing. That, that sense is missing out of this paper and future research probably could therefore focus on empirical testing of the proposed KPIs across different retail environments to validate their universal applicability and effectiveness and that i believe is very critical because theory might be a little far away from how the practical world is op operating and in the in the domain of the retail world uh, the companies are doing their own research which is not public and that limits authors obviously uh, from accessing that data and that data might be more advanced and might uh, give a better sneak sneak peek into what is going on in the industry so uh, with all this there are a lot of limitations uh, in terms of this uh, study having no uh, relation uh, or no strong bonding with the real world operations and how they are progressing as as such so uh, and and based on that uh, i would say that uh, future direction is determined as well these limitations uh, obviously, and and uh, one thing that uh, these limitations lead to what where we can head in terms of future. So, uh, and authors have taken the liberty of suggesting future research as well. One key area is that uh, empirical validation of KPF framework in varied retail settings. Obviously, uh, in a controlled environment, you can get a lot better results, but in a practical world, uh, it's it's different. And as I've mentioned earlier as well, that in the practical world, advancements might be different altogether as well. So that uh, makes it kind of uh, really uh, convenient from the theoretical point of view, but in the practical world, it might be different. So empirical validation would actually be very, very important of uh, uh, pillar of this research and, and that is, should be the direction forward. And uh, additionally, Exploring the integration of advanced analytics and, and machine learning to refine KPI measurement process uh, could actually provide deeper insights and predictive capabilities, enhancing strategic decision making in supply chain management. And that is where this research is actually far away from the reality because uh, in, in the modern world, it's not about just the KPIs. It's about uh, using advanced analytics and machine learning uh, and, and to some extent now artificial intelligence to refine KPIs. Uh, KPI measurement processes and and that is being already done in an industry and, and the paper has not touched upon that topic is an indication that uh, there is a limitation there is not just that uh, this is not an empirical study is not the only, only limitation but this does not have the most latest or advanced knowledge uh, access to them as well so that is one of the problems uh, with the paper as well uh, so uh, just like uh, to summarize a bit of the uh, key points, uh, we have gone through overview of the importance of KPIs in supply chain management and we have established, uh, through, the author has established in this that that is very critical and I tend to uh, agree with the author on this that uh, KPIs in, in the modern supply chain are very important because you need to have an eye on each segment of the process and that is sometimes not possible. So some high level numbers that I, that can actually suggest that what is the pro that there is some kind of a problem or improvement in that particular data set point and then you can correct your direction accordingly that is very critical uh, so that importance has been highlighted by the authors as well uh, and then actually discussion of a theoretical framework of categorizing KPIs actually the authors have restricted the study to to retail industry and they have categorized uh, KPIs into four different categories just like inventory inventory or information technology for that matter and through that uh, they have uh, given a general framework as well that uh, when whenever thinking about KPIs then uh, KPIs for each domain should be separately identified and, and should be uh, should uh, translate into some uh, different kind of data point uh, and then uh, they have reviewed through specific KPI points uh, within transport 
uh, IT inventory and resource optimization. optimization. Uh, so, for example, that is what their categorize categories were, and then they have identified some uh, KPIs in those categories as well to help facilitate the process. Uh, and and similarly, if we uh, talk further about it, so. Uh, moving on uh, to the concluding arguments or, or concluding points, uh, uh, they have uh, the authors have talked about uh, supply chain, uh, the impact of structured uh, KPIs uh, on the. Uh, I'm uh, my apologies for the background light. Uh, actually, uh, uh, my laptop's battery went low, so I had to. Uh, uh, innovate a bit and and so I'm uh, apologies for the background uh, and I hope it's sorted uh, so to in, as a matter of concluding remarks the impact of structured KPIs application on supplier chain and financial performance has been monitored uh, in, in this paper uh, the authors went on to define four categories and then analyze different sort of KPIs in those categories and one thing they have done really well is that they have uh, they have identified the, uh, the importance of aligning KPIs with strategic business goals and, and uh, that, that is highlight of this paper because it's not just about that what KPIs indicate, it's about that uh, how, uh, how important it is for KPIs to be aligned with the strategic business goals of an organization. And, and if you talk about uh, potential benefits, uh, uh, it, is, uh, it results in enhanced efficiency, uh, customer satisfaction and profitability, whatever segment uh, that the organization is actually looking to improve uh, is, is what uh, can be monitored and then obviously optimized uh, based on, on, on useful KPIs. Uh, what are we looking at uh, moving forward? Uh, so we are looking at the fact that uh, uh, we need to uh, reflect and integrate these insights into the business strategy. Uh, and that is what organizations should do uh, and identify and focus on uh, KPIs uh, critical to the operation and uh, commit to continuous improvement and measurement for sustainable success. Uh, so that uh, would be all from me. Uh, thank you very much.